السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My challenge uh, after passing the medical exam for the licensing or actually what they call it the PLAB exam or the TRAB exam at the time to get my license, medical license is how to improve my skills in speaking English language. While I was in Abrestwith in the 1978 in Bronglais Hospital, I read a, a small leaflet talking about a Christian Medical Fellowship Group having a conference in uh, the University of uh, Abrestwith there. I went to listen, to learn, uh, and to meet people to improve my skills in speaking uh, English uh, language. So to enable me to save money and to practice my language. It was about how those medical professions, professionals, uh, trying to spread Christianity through medical treatment, through, through, through all these sort of things, whether they are technicians, nurses, uh, sisters, doctors, and others. Okay. I went there and it was full house, and in the break, two young girls, one was Swiss and the other one was uh, German, they came and spoke to me and they asked me where you come from. I said I came from Egypt, and one of them told the other, I told you that he was from Egypt, the way he looks, he was from Egypt. And they started actually to come closer to me, to be very kind to me, to talk to me about Jesus, peace be upon him, and how Jesus saved people, trying to convert me in, in, in a nutshell. And then uh, they called one of their colleagues from London, he was originally Arab, from, uh, from Jordan, to come and speak to me, so he might convince me to become Christian. And they came and spoke to me for nearly an hour, one to one, and then after that, he thought that I was convinced to change, to convert to Christianity. And he told me, let us pray together. I said, okay, fine. I don't have wudu. I go to the toilet to make wudu and come back. So it was the end of the discussion between me and them. But these two girls, especially the German one, did not, never stopped of sending me books, 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 and videos and others about people who are Muslims and became Christian in India and Asia and other places. This was my relation with the missionaries and the Christian uh, groups. The second uh, experience was in, with another group called uh, the Moonies or the Sing Amun uh, movement, or which is a part of Unification Church. I was in Swansea, and I don't know how did I get to know them. And also, my objective was to mix with people to have a discussion with them, to enable me to practice my language and to save time of not, uh, and money of not spending money on uh, classes. So they used to come and take me uh, to their uh, meetings in the evening where I was sitting there listening and talking and singing and others. And at the end of the day, they used to give, me, uh, uh, to give us uh, 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 some food like uh, soup, like... Uh, uh, what do you call it, bread, so to save also one or two pounds for my dinner and to save actually quite a few pounds also for my English language. I used to go outside with them and to go actually to uh, a long uh, weekend workshop uh, to listen and discuss and argue and, 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 and. This was the second group, which is the Moonies. The strategy, so one of the strategy of this, they are, actually, they are, they are unifying all the religions under new religion, as well as using the young volunteers, men and women, to be attached or serving or helping the elderly or many lonely, so to be able to clean their houses, their flats, and be uh, giving uh, services to them. Uh, so maybe uh, before those people die, they can actually write in their will on their legacies, a flat or a car or uh, money in the bank or a building to the organization. Uh, the third group, which uh, when I was settling in uh, uh, Wolverhampton, in my attachment to the Royal Infirmary in Wolverhampton at the time, I was more confident to go out to the church and knock the door to ask for the priest and said, let us discuss the relationship between Chris Islam and Christianity with the priest and, 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 and. So with the objective that I wanted to learn more English for free, because I did not have the money, I didn't have the... Uh, the, 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 the time to go there and we used to go to the priest in the church I can't remember the name of the church in Wolverhampton 
for the discussion and the relationship between Islam and the Christianity. The message here to young men and women, when you give yourself a peace of mind and a safer place, you'll be able to think ahead strategically, objectively, uh, locally and globally, actually. And this is what I have been doing, alhamdulillah, since I reside in Kevin Coyd Hospital in, uh, in Swansea. Uh, to save the 25 pound which was a weekly rent uh, as well as to go around and start discussing Eng everything in english to improve my language actually to enable me to pass the exam later on assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi